YouTube, here we go. We've had Dre on this channel about 45 times. But real quick, guys, you can see that I'm cleaning up the party. So he already got his hair braided. I prefer to cut into a finished product. Therefore, I recommend my clients get their braids, whatever it is that they're going to do on top. Get it now. That way I can cut into a final product. And I know that it's going to look good regardless of... Um, you know if you're gonna change your braids later on the reason why is because braids create tension on the scalp and it could change the whole look it could change the whole look of the lineup right so super important in my opinion now as I'm working back here I'm trying to lower it down to a two open or and then a two closed because he's gonna get uh, I don't know if I would call it design he's gonna get like a V in the back I'm gonna incorporate the calyx back here that are creating creating like darker and lighter areas, um, and I'm gonna incorporate that into the slight the light work uh, design work that we're doing. I think this is a unique haircut. I, people have seen it before, right? But um, I tried to mix it up a little bit for Dre. Using babyless these 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 gunmetal skeletons are amazing. Like my thing, my my trim is hit like lasers, and I'm I have the black blade, the deep tooth blade for skeletons, but I'm afraid to swap out the blade. You guys know how that is, man. You know, once you got your trim is set, I don't care, I don't care what blade you got on there. Do not mess with it, right? So I make sure I kind of touch up all the sides of the of the design. Now we're gonna go ahead and start with this taper, and this is I want to say it's a taper, but it's definitely not. It's we're not gonna fade all the way around. We're gonna try to keep it um, just on the side of the head, just pretty much from the ear to the to the to the front hairline. And so I started out with my bald line, followed up with the blade open. That is my next section, and we're going to start to blend that section out. You guys can see I haven't opened the lever. I'm really going in with my teeth and then kind of beveling out. This is the first time I opened my lever, and it was literally just for like a little touch up at the very uh, guideline. So now we're going to go ahead and create our next section. And we'll have a guideline on the top of this section and a guideline at the bottom of this section. And then we'll blend this section into the previous section we already blended out. Leading with my one open. This is a number one open or three millimeter. Open. And since we already have the three open, we'll go ahead and lower his beard down. He has a cowlick on his beard as well. You guys may remember this from previous times I've cut his hair. But anytime we do something different as far as his look, I go ahead and I throw him on the um, on the video. Plus, he's Dre, if you guys don't know, he's heavily involved with Tomb 45. He's one of our managers. And I barely get to cut his hair. So anytime I need a, a model for like the shows or, or for a video... He tries to get in. He tries to sneak in. So we're fading the beard in the same steps we would fade the side. You saw I did my one open, then I did my half. See, I'm doing. I'm working my half here too. And then underneath that, we did the blade open and then kind of blended it out. At this point, we're using that half guard and we're starting to blend this section. And then we'll drop from that half guard to that blade open to really blend, you know, any dark areas that's left. Um, in between that half guard and the blade open. So no, I wouldn't consider this a taper or a fade either. It's just you know it's a it's it's just a creative way to create um, gradients. I feel like. That really makes the haircut, the overall look pop. 
all right at this point i got my number two open just lowering this area down and then we're going to use our one and a half guard the, the one i'm using right here is the babyless one or the babyless one and we're going to use that to start to blend out that section So this video we did, um, we dropped this last week. If you're part of the academy, you already seen this. We did a live stream, and I answered questions as we were watching this together, and we had it in real time. So if that's something that interests you, you can go to tomb45academy.com, click on Enter Online Academy, and you'll be able to sign up right through there. Or there'll be a link in the description. All right, now we're working down from that one and a half guard to a one guard open. And at this point, once we're done with this step, it's really just detailing. Now we're gonna look for dark areas and just try to detail it and make it um, as blended as possible. Before I spend too much time detailing, if I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm struggling kind of seeing dark areas, I'll go ahead and line it up and then go re kind of resetting my eyes, right? And then I'll go back to the fade area and start to detail it a little bit more. All right, so here I'm just showing you guys that his hairline is higher. That's hang time and that hang time is creating a thin look as you can see so I'm gonna line it up at, um, I'm gonna try to keep as much of that hang time as I can um, without it looking like he's receding so once I can get a nice solid line I won't go up any higher but I want to lift up that hair that fringe to show you guys I'm not pushing his back his hairline is naturally higher he's just got um, you know some hair uh, pretty much bangs pretty much all right and so once I've lined it up like I told you guys I'll go back and I'll detail All right, I did see a little bit of a dark area here with the beard, so I'm just kind of detailing this beard fade after I lined up the bottom. Pretty much the same idea as if you were doing the sides, right? All right, so we're going to do the same exact steps on this side. Follow along, guys. Um, hopefully I explained the other side pretty well and uh, let's go ahead and bust this side out. And just uh, a heads up guys, we're going to be, Tomb 45 will be um, at Las Vegas Barber Expo at the end of this month. We literally have a show every single weekend for the next seven weeks. So if that's something you're interested in. Um, what I'll try to do is post something in my Instagram, in my stories with the schedule. But we'll be in Las Vegas. We got Tennessee Barber Expo. We got uh, Birmingham Premiere. We got a bunch of shows. DC Barber Expo. Blurry Fades Expo. Yeah. We working, man. Trying to, trying to build a brand. Trying to be kind of, um, you know accessible to everybody and and go out there and educate and continue to to help people man this is my number one open 
if you notice guys i'm using a lot of corner especially around that rounded area when i'm trying to create that guideline or that section more rounded it's really hard to do that if you're using the whole blade go ahead and just use the corners to create that and kind of sketch it in Oh, and, and we'll be in Puerto Rico too. We'll be at the San Juan um, Beauty Expo. So Puerto Rico, look out, we're coming. I think for a lot of people, a haircut like this is intimidating because it looks like you're doing the highest taper ever but i think if you can envision it and you know the kind of like the steps and the theory to create that look you know it's just it's just like any other haircut trust the process and it should come out straight Alright, and I think this is the last step before we line this side up and start to detail it as well. Oh yeah, we'll be in South Padre for the barber games if you're in Texas. Forgot about that one. All right, that number two, finalizing the, the blend in the beard, just like we did on the other side. Now the one and a half, we'll line it up, detail it if we have to. Same thing with this, uh, this hairline here on this side, the fringe, you see it's a little bit light. We're going to kind of bring it up until it gets dark without pushing it back. Or at least pushing his, his normal hairline back. Alright, let's go ahead and detail it with the shave gel. I like to do the shave gel first. I like to go ahead and use the razor first before I enhance it with color. Now enhancement is just that. It's just, it's, it's not supposed to create the look, right? It's just like when you're using hairstyling products. The haircut and the blow dryer should give the style. The product should just enhance the style. Does that make sense? give it hold give it give it a more defined texture whatever it may be that's what that's what hairstyling products is supposed to do the haircut and the and the, the blow dry should create most of the most of the styling in my opinion that's a lot like color enhancements right the color enhancements should just enhance the cut you're already doing and i don't know in my opinion everything looks good without the color i just want to pop even more so Completely a preference thing, but I never turn down my clients, and I and I will recommend it when I when I feel like it'll it'll make it look better. And so the reason why I'm using the razor first is because I can put I'm gonna I'm going to use alcohol and witch hazel and, or some aftershave 
to clean the skin afterwards anyways so that the color lasts longer it's it's now an oily dirty skin um therefore i might as well use the razor now go ahead and cleanse the skin and also sanitize it and then i can follow it up with a clean razor and he'll be gucci he'll be done So we're using um, Sean Cut's hair, his his cards, his templates, and like for me, everybody's preference on color enhancements is different. There's times where I'll do my enhancements, and customers will ask me to make it darker or to add more color. For me, I think a little bit goes a long way, and I just I try not to overdo it. I try to keep it looking, you know, as natural as possible while still giving it some pop. Um, but some people, I'm not gonna lie to you, I have clients that are asking me to add more. Like something like this to me is 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 nice, it's not overdone. But I got customers that are literally looking in the mirror and be like, yo, can you make the beard darker? Or the line darker? Sure. But I don't know, you guys tell me in the in the comments how what do you guys think how that color popped and, and what do you guys think about the cut, man. We're using the 245 triple cartridge razor, the classic, the original. And look at that. That's looking good to me, man. That's a dope cut, in my opinion. That line is sharp, that beard is nice, the blend has some nice gradients. Yeah, that angle's crazy. All right, go ahead and add some finishing touches. And that's the cut, man. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button. It helps the channel out so much. Love you guys.